welcome to the 2014 volleyball season preview video. I'm Cameron Weidenthal, joined by volleyball head coach Tim Koth. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. You're welcome. You come to Detroit, come to Wayne State after a decade of uh, success at Northwood. Talk about what drew you to this position and talk about um, what uh, a few of the characteristics that led you to taking the, taking the job. Well, first, uh, you know, the city of Detroit area is home for me, so that was, uh, from a personal standpoint, it was easy to come back to this area. Um, Wayne State's a great place. It's a great university. Um, there's a lot of great things happening here, a lot of construction, renovations, both to athletics to the campus. Um, it's an exciting place to be right now, and um, we have everything in place from a volleyball standpoint. So the competitive side to me wanted to accept the challenge and to be able to uh, take a program that I think has everything in place to be extremely successful successful and get it there. So, um, you know, I think uh, Rob had a great vision for our from our athletic department for this program and it kind of fits mine, so that's kind of why I'm here. You mentioned before we, we started filming, you mentioned, uh, you named captains. Talk about a few of the leaders you'll look to uh, for product for productivity this year and, and as, as your captains and leaders. Yeah, we're actually going to have four captains this year, which is a little bit uh, different for me. Normally mm -hmm. I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have that many captains. Um, but uh, I feel like we needed to kind of do that this year. We've got some players who I think their dynamic is really strong in the gym. I think we've got a few players that I think are extremely dynamic uh, off-court leaders. Um, so Carly Hunt, uh, Madison Reeves, Kelsey Bonowitz, and Michaela Schell are going to be the captains for, uh, for our volleyball team this year. Um, and uh, we actually just met the other day and uh, gave them the directive for what they want to do and they left with big smiles on their faces and they're excited and ready to lead this team. The reaction you were hoping for, I'm Hopefully, sure. Yeah, 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 absolutely. You brought in five newcomers, uh, four freshmen and then a transfer. Talk about what, what that class brings and, and as you build your team uh, for this year in the future, what are they? Are they the building blocks you were looking for? Well, I hope so. I mean, the roster in general is fairly young. Yeah. Um, you know, the returning players were pretty young. Uh, we were bringing in five new players. I think there's two specific things that this class brings to to the volleyball court. Number one, a huge expectation. Every one of them have been a part of extremely successful yeah. high school club programs, and they've been nothing. Uh, they haven't been a part of anything other than high end winners. Um, so they all have that attitude. But it's more than just, you know, we expect to win. They also understand you got to bust your butt to be able to do that. Um, so that's a really important part to what they bring. Um, and they really address the needs that I felt like our current roster didn't have. We, we gained depth at the setting position by adding Brittany. Um, we added uh, depth with Madison Kilty at the defensive spot. Uh, we added much needed help in the middle with Michelle Asadu and uh, Grace, uh, Frazy, those two are going to add a lot to that position. Um, and we added another uh, outside hitter who's got great ball control skills um, in Hannah Moore coming in from a, from a high-end uh, high school and club program down in Louisville. Exciting. Talk about your expectations. I, I've heard you say Team 1 before uh, referring to this team. Talk about your expectations um, as, as we uh, prepare for this uh, 2014 season. Yeah, Team 1, this is my first team at Wayne State, and it's going to be the first one that doesn't have hopes and dreams but has the expectation of success. Um, I think it's just a little bit of a, a cultural difference, mm -hmm. an idea, a mentality, a mindset, whatever you want to call it, but we just, we're just we going to expect to do things a certain way. We're going to expect to succeed um, by what we do. Um, so this is the first team, obviously the real easy one, it's my first team at Wayne State, right. but it's the first team that we hope has a mindset that we expect to do things rather than we hope that we can get there. Mm -hmm. Well, start September 4th with the Clarion Invitational and five straight home matches um, starting September 12th with Grand Valley. Talk about how important that stretch is. Well, it's a vital stretch to the schedule. This year, with it being a festival year in the fall uh, for volleyball, we've lost a week of season. Uh, how that translates is we only have one week of non-conference play yeah. before we start into league competition. Um, so we'll be at Clarion um, and uh, play those four competitions, and then we start right in with the big, the big girls, Grand Valley, Ferris, who will be the preseason favorites in the GLIAC. Um, but we get them at home, so it's really important that we get off to a great start. Uh, I think uh, just the tailor-made part of being successful in the GLIAC is that you defend your home court, yeah. um, and if you can do 50-50 on the road or slightly better than 50-50, you're going to be in the top third, which means you're going to have a chance to uh, for postseason play, yeah. both in the GLIAC and in the NCAA tournament. So um, it's really important that we uh, we defend our home court right from the start, because by the end of the year, we're going to be on the road quite a bit. Yeah. 
All right, thanks for the time, Coach. Absolutely. Forward to the season. We hope to see everybody inside the Math Life September 12th for the first of five straight home matches against Grand Valley.